Hello everyone and welcome to another TSG Tidus review with me, John Parker and... Me, Jack Kerning and... Me, Cody Crotis. So folks, we are going back to NLS and we're going to review one of their consoles. One yeah. that I have not seen yet. So, John, let's get straight into it. Do you want? Uh, did this come with an exterior, by the way? Because that I don't. Uh, it I don't did, know yes. Know. I it think did. it did, right. and I haven't it, seen the exterior yet, so that will be interesting to, to okay. find out. Right, let's bring it down. So uh, let's uh, let's summon it and uh, let's go, shall we? Because it has I it has been think some time. That's set my default, but hasn't summoned it. Has that summoned it? I don't know that summoned it. Did that summon it? That hasn't just, summoned anything. Let me just summon it again. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, John. Here we go. At least we oh. can say you're doing it wrong to make uh, make people feel better. Stereo is landing. Your console has been powered up. And I better turn my volume up because currently you can't hear anything. There we go. And here we have it. Mm. The, concept, the concept exterior that comes with this. I do like the blue on the windows. I do. That's a mm, nice that touch. is nice. Nice little touch, darling. What colour is the exterior itself? Because uh, that looks blue to me. Is that? Am I right in saying that? Yeah, it's blue. It is. Yeah. Like a dark blue. It's it's, it's a very, very, very. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is a very dark, dark blue. Mm, I don't know, hmm. but the bump mapping on the window is nice. Uh, the little the little, sh little shimmer in the window, just with the bump mapping. I think. Am I right in saying that? Please tell me uh -huh. I'm right in saying that. I can't even find out because it's now modified. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure. There's bump. I think there might be a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely fond of the lantern now. I don't know why. Um, that that's not something that's really going mm. on. Mid. It seems a bit too um. Bloated. I feel. Hmm. <laughs> that a bit too many mm. chips. <laughs> too many chips. Yes. Yes. Because uh, uh, <laughs> a, a glass object oh. clearly has a mouth. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, hey, John. Yes. You come, come into the lantern, right? Yeah. And then look, look at the gap between the top of that the of the the lamp. I've just noticed and the, the lid, a bit on the top. The Ooh. top of the lamp and the lid. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, a, I see what you mean now. That's a pretty nifty gap. You, you, you know what will happen there? The fucking rain will get in. <laughs> <laughs> and then it will short circuit. Although, I do have to admit, the actual um, outline shape, I do like. Especially mm. when it comes to the pillar, the actual corners, the cornered pillars, mm. as I call them. Mm. The actual it's exterior. a nice, nice chunky, chunky design. It, um, it does remind me a lot of Cushing's ex uh, exterior, although a little, a little bit more kind of smaller, because I think Cushing's is a little bit taller. But no, the actual outline, I'd say, is kind of like Cushing's. Although, oh, would you say the Cushing, or would you say Hartnell? No, I think I think I'd say um, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know if I'd say either because it looks more like the. Um... It, it more looks like a um, a one in between. I say in between. Mm. So you got Cushing, you got Hartnell. I say this one kind of fits in between a modification of that kind of style. Um, but now the, the the tint, the blue tint on the windows, that I do like, kind of gives a more of a, um, a customized effect to it. That I I do I do really like. A lot of personalization into that. The windows in general. Am I right in saying? I do like. Yep. Am I right in saying that this metal part of the hinge, which is currently residing within the wood, is supposed to be to the left a little so that the metal shows on the left there? Uh, would that is that on hmm? the police telephone free for use public? Yeah. Address? If you look at that sign, look at the hinges, right? Yep. You'll see like a little very faint thin golden line, and if you come inside it, you'll see the. The whole hinge section that's supposed to be. I'm sure that's supposed ah, to be perfectly visible. Yes. Uh, well, actually, technically, that shouldn't even be there, to be honest. Um, by rights, there should be, like, you know where the, the hinges are? Where you actually, the, the ones that you can actually see? Mm -hmm. um, I believe there should be, like, a like a gap in between there to kind of give the impression of when you open it, obviously, it can turn a 90 degree angle. Oops. Which, obviously, it doesn't. <laughs> Um, actually, uh, see now, I I'll pick on that in a in a moment. 
I've always wondered that about about NS exteriors. While it's really good that you can change, you can open individually the doors. I've loved that since day one. Yeah, I like that as well. However, but... opening the left door on its own is not possible. It's physically impossible because of this massive block of wood right here that's always In... fixed to the left door. Yep. It's going through the other door. Yep. I, I I've never. But. That's, I've never quite that's, got that, but that's, that's more of a global thing with exteriors, not more or less specific to this one in particular. So, um, but no, overall, I actually think this is a pretty decent exterior, and I do actually like it very much. Mm -hmm. Just mm. A, couple of, a couple of things here yeah. and there, but I, don't get me wrong, I, I do like this exterior as well. It's quite detailed, especially and particularly that blue window thing. I like that. Um, but more importantly, yeah, that is very nice. You know the the blue wooden texture. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can see patches of dirt. And, yes. Uh, anywhere, where, where, give me where, a Oh yes. Just anywhere, literally, it's anywhere. Just look anywhere, you'll see some kind of patches. Yeah. Yeah. It. Be a bit grungy. Yeah, and it's not just fixed. Good, good word, grungy. It's it's random. Yeah, it's random. Yeah, that's what it's saying there. So, hmm. that I do like. It kind of is more of an old. Uh, it, it literally, actually, you know what? I think this is more of uh, a resemblance to how the actual police boxes looked in the mm. 1940s because yes the, it is actually isn't it isn't thinking about it because i saw that parts, picture that cartoon picture yeah because the, the mm. top parts of those police boxes were always kind of thick and there's always a lot to them yes um so i think this really does resemble the 1940s um police boxes so mm. but yeah no overall that, that, that yeah that that's that's great i th i do personally think that that left handle is a bit too close to the edge only because when I come away like that, it, it feels like it's floating. I know it's not floating, but it, it just feels a little bit too far, just a little bit too far to the left, and it's confusing my eyes when I, I'm i not zoomed into it. Let's, in we go. Indeed, ladies first. Oh, there we go. Here is the main attraction, as they say. After you, good sir. Indeed. Ladies first. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> He's just caught on to that again. <laughs> <laughs> two, two times in a row, yes. Get in. Two in a row! Ah. Right. First impressions. Pretty beautiful. It's big. And beautiful. I do like the colour scheme that they've got going on in this console. And I also like the detail um, on the controls. There is. There is a um, lot, a of, lot detail. of controls. A lot. And I it also really nice. like, and I saw this earlier, the lights, the flashing lights. I really do like these lights. Mm. Um, yeah, it just it looks it just looks high tech. I like high tech. It's really good. I, I do like. Oh, and there's something else I like about this console. If you cam on the glass, the, the glass panes, these ones yep. here, you'll notice that there's bump mapping on there, and they've got a nice little. Reflection well, I don't. To them. Oh, sorry, no, I don't think it's bump mapping. I think it might be specular ones there. Oh no, no, there's both. So yeah, it's the bump mapping that's causing this frosted glass look. I was going to say it's like a it's like frosted um, glass, isn't it? Which yeah, yeah, or, or really, like yeah, speckly flattened glass. Really fits fits it does. With, the, with, this, with this console. It does. Not only that, yeah. but you know, um, especially here, John, mm -hmm. Cody, um, you know, the other the light going going down here, the way it kind yeah. of bounces off the glass. Mm, that is nice. Yeah. Right, better off the glass. What do you mean? Well, just just look how the light reflects off the frosted glass. It's, look where I'm standing. I'm gonna put oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see how that looks. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming round now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have they got? Have they got different specular colours going on here? Oh no, they haven't. It's just a different coloured light. Sort of. Ignore me. I take it there's a downstairs area, is there? Yes. Is there, yes. There's. I assume it's meant to be like a power core or something. Oh, that's I mean, it's nice. nice. It's included. That is nice. Oh, and you've got the door for the... I like that. I do like that. Yeah, I think this one's definitely ticking the right boxes here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of the best... The, the, they're uh, the best ones. I, I, I do really like this one. No, um, I'll, I'll let them go with the um, controls here not being mesh. Because I'm pretty sure that if they were... Which controls not being mesh? Uh, the power core one. They're just bump maps. Oh, I, no, you, right. I see what you're saying. Now. It's flat textures. Yeah. yeah. Although I can, well, I can it understand. Would been, it would have, it would have been a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot yeah. Of, uh, random pack to try and get all that fitting in. So personally, that that doesn't matter. 
it still all fits perfectly well. And besides, using bump mapping to emphasize it is is uh, a much better route to go. So. Definitely, definitely. The stairs are like the most. Mm. Mm, the stairs are nice. I, I will, uh, I will, um, I'll grant NLS this as well. I've noticed that they've been using a lot more custom bump maps yes. with their texture work, uh, which I applaud them for, because uh, I do remember they used to like using brightness a lot. But recently I've noticed that some of these controls, in fact, no, I think most of these controls, um, they have a custom bump map on. Uh, one thing I did notice, these buttons here, um, which are these, hang on, let me see if I can move my avatar around so you guys can see it as well. Where it says Flight Transit, the buttons to the left and right of it um, have this really nice, um, glossy look to them. Yeah. And I really do like the bump map they've got. And if you look at the bump map, it is custom. And it's a very nice one as well. And it does look different to the actual texture, although I could be wrong. I am. No, I'm not wrong. No, 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 it is different. But yeah. Whoa. Oh. oh. What the it hell was decided, that? Oh, I do not know. It decided that it hated me, and then it was like, oh. <laughs> apparently, uh, apparently, we've just gone through a rift in time. Yeah, the, there, is, there is something I did notice as well. These dials here, uh, which is the ones in the center of where yeah. I'm standing. Mm. The blue dials, the light blue and dark blue dials. If you look at the texture on them, they are the same texture used on the square ones. Now, unfortunately, when you put uh, the square on the, the a cylindrical thing, it squishes the texture. However, they might have actually wanted that effect to make it look like a little bit like a dial switch. I believe so. But um, but I just, I just found it note. I just noticed that it was like you know bending the texture because that's how Second Life maps uh, um, square textures onto cylindrical shapes. It but is squishes it... the texture, which is. Either way, though, it, it's not like it sticks like a, th a sore thumb. So no, it's, for the it's... distance and even up close, it does look like it's the dials. In fact, it gives this like scientific, scientific, sci-fi look mm -hmm. to the uh, to the texture. So definitely, I also like that as well. So there, we I'm go on that. I'm actually looking at how shiny everything is. Mm. I'm just coming around and zooming in at random things. Very glossy. Like... It looks, so like shiny. <laughs> looks like everything has been polished. But Isn't also, it? also, there, there's a good point there. Um, they haven't gone OTT. No. Oh. With the the shininess. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing looking like everything's made out of chrome. Yeah, yes. Yeah, because it's, it's like um, I'm never good when it comes to describing like f uh, floor materials in real Ooh. life. Oh. Oh, I've just looked at the texture for the um for the metal that goes around the little the square metal all around the the actual the, the, fr the frame the frame. frame of the console. Yep. The texture they're using is absolutely gorgeous. It's a it's an actual metal texture. It's like got um like, like a brushed oh, yeah. aluminium style effect. I see it. I see it. Really nice. I think that's it's, uh, it's, seamless. It's not showing up very well though. I, I, I can see that the it's hard to see it on the actual metal itself. Mm. Do you mean like the the hexagonal framework around all the controls? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It looks um. It's hard to see. It in looks the world. Like shiny plastic rather than rather than the rather texture than that they've chosen. Yeah. Which 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 is odd because they've got the texture on there, but that I have no wise. idea why the. Yeah, no, that's a nice looking texture, but it. it I think they they try. I think I think they've stretched it too much for what what the texture was designed for. Ah, um, a quick <laughs> note, guys. Quick note. Mm -hmm. Set yourself to um, midnight. That's a good point. Oh, oh. The, um. I thought about oh, that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, using spotlights. Oh, I do love projectors. Yep. Yeah, they, no, NLS are getting good really good with projectors. projectors. They are. I mean, I, 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 especially if you've got the graphics <laughs> card for it and you've got the shadows all over the place and that sort of thing. Mm. No, I, I, I definitely no, That agree. is very nice. I, particularly illuminating the doors, that's a really cool idea. Yeah. It's that is really nice. Showing the way. That yeah. blue on the top of the rotor there. The crystals in the rotor. Uh, the rotor itself is amazing. Mm -hmm. I do have to admit. They've got a little tiny bit of a McGann feel to the bottom of the rotor, I think, with those um, slightly slanted uh, mm, yeah, the, pipes. The, the, the tubes. The cage-like section around at the mm. bottom. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I think I, I I do thoroughly enjoy this console. It is quite a nice console. There's one thing I have to wonder though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a nice a nice section on there. I'll have to talk about that in a second. Carry and on. It's, it's 
It's a question that I've always wondered about the the Smith to Capaldi console, which I know is the BBC's fault here, not not NLS or Hands of Omega or anyone. Why have a double rotor and then only have one of them moving? Yes, that has yeah. always played on my mind. I don't know why. I know the Smith and Capaldi uh, are the, the most canon example of having double rotor and anyone moving. But why? I, I, I'm not. I'm not judging the design. I like how it's only one rotor. Oh no, I, think I, two I know. Would make it messy. Yeah. I know exactly where you're coming from. Odd. Yeah, I know exactly where you're coming from, and I, I agree. I think that's the scanner screen. Yes. Have have a cam slowly around the texture. Just look at the detail on the metal. Oh, it's like it's been it's... scratched and. Yeah. Yeah. And if you look, if you because you've got you guys have got a mod right, haven't you? So you should be able to. Um, see the textures. The normal texture is a shadowed um, white texture with all the scratches on it. Then if you look at the shiner texture, which is what's intriguing me most, just look at the detail on that specular map. And it really does pop out the scratches. Yes, I see. And that is really nice. I really do enjoy that. And of course I've got a bit of a light. Where is that light coming from? I'm a... Bit interested about that. I always wonder where these projectors normally come from, but I never kind of figured out where. It's fine in the buggers. <laughs> they go everywhere. Um, that was very British of me. Actually, um, I've, I've got, an, I've got an idea. Hang on. Do excuse me for this if I mess something up. Oh, what have you done? I'll just move the light. It's okay, I'll put it back. <laughs> it might... Wait a minute, I'm being dumb. It's whatever's causing that whole projector thing. But I need to know where that is. I have a feeling it's going to be somewhere invisible that we can't see, can we? Very random. Um, Very oh, random indeed. What's, what's that? Um, okay. There's a random vertice here. Random vertice. Those bloody vertices. Oh no, it's alright. I think it's just how they built the scanner screen's rounded edge. Yeah, it is. Just had the built the round edge. Round edge. That's oh. a little mystery. I can't actually see anything. Oh, I found something. What did you find? A very small um, square cube. Although pointing it to you, John's going to be next to impossible because. Found it. Okay. <laughs> um, I wonder if that's the cause it's for. It's not. It's not the light, though. Is no, it? no, no. That's the. Oh, that's the pivot point with the door. Oh well, anyway, that doesn't uh, really matter. But anyway, yes. Um, one thing you'll notice about the NLS system recently is, with the Mark II system, um, the roundels now love to have this like slight glowing flash to them. And it's quite a nice addition, actually. Yes, I, I agree. Oh, can we just um, turn the close to bell on for the moment? Uh, if I can find it. Hello. I'm fairly sure that turns everything red, if that's... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Except for behind Cody. That's interesting. I wonder... That's, that's actually... No, I do wonder why that's not done that. Also, why can't I hear the voice of I don't hear anything. That's a good point. So, we're all not hearing anything? No. It's a ghost. Where's the sounds for this console? Hmm. The, the sounds you're, you're thinking it's a who oh no no sorry there, will, be there are no I... sounds um, why is there no close to bell sound for this I don't know well do, oh. don't endless store the sounds somewhere in the console or how do, how do they do mm, it no this I think it's hard scripted it. in right yeah. you, I think the only ones you can change are the ones in the rotor because the ones in the rotor aren't ever scripted in oh and the sound. wow what? Oh, I get it now. What? Okay, so the walls around the doorways are labelled light wall, right? Yeah. And they haven't got a description. All the um, all the randals around the uh, the ones that are fl glowing and all that, they have a description. Um, you've got our wall three, um, our wall one, our wall four, and our wall two. Well, that must have been deliberate then. Uh, yeah, so I assume it's just how the scripts work. If they have the an R wall, an R wall, then it then it will uh, then it ah, will go on. John, yep, mm -hmm. there you go. Oh. It seems that a, a wall with a door for 
uh, extensions or extra rooms don't turn red. Look, look underneath. They don't turn red either. If you look over the banners. Oh yeah. Balcony. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's just yeah. it's just how they've done the, and the, done the thing. Yeah, no, that, that's that's fine then. Although the only concern here is the cluster bell sound. Why there's no sound, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, whether it's a bug or not, then. Well, I'm a bit confused as well. I can't remember if what I used this console either because I used it briefly. Hmm. I can't remember if it had one or not. Try turning it back uh, off and on again. <laughs> well, if you try turning it off and on again, father. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. So that was a glitch. Ah, okay. There we go. Right then, that was not in void. That was a glitch. Um. Shall we try landing this through a summon? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it sounds like from the console. So see what it looks like from the console, I should say. Yeah, I'm why not? Gonna, I'm going to summon it down here. This why is going to end badly for us all. Yeah, cause a power. Why doesn't it just land outside? Because I'm dumb. Okay. Instead of Maybe. summoning it, we're putting extra effort into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's cause a cloister bell. Who cares? A cloister bell. Paradox. I'm going to say. Apparently we're still in flight. Oh, there we go. We're still. So there we go. That was this basic landing, and now I can use the DMAT option because it works with the exterior. There we go. Whoops. And there we go. They've changed their landing and takeoff effect, haven't they, with the exterior? Mm, it's quite, a, it's quite a it slow takes one. It longer. Mm -hmm. Which is much of an issue, but yeah, you know. There's the lighting control. But okay. how do I click it? Well, no, I was say. Oh. Why is lighting control not doing anything? Um. It does nothing. It really doesn't do anything. Is there a script in it? Does it know it's a lighting control? Is it aware that it's a... It doesn't... There's no script in it. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. Does it need to have a little script in it, though? Because it's got the script in his light switch. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Have they updated it so they don't need to have descriptions in things now? Uh, I mean, you don't even have descriptions in it, Oh, yeah, whatever. I'm getting... What, what, um, I'm not allowed to touch the, con the control at the lighting switch. There's definitely something I, there. I don't think I have the... Uh, one second. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Add... It's not telling me I can click on it. Well, it's not telling me I can't, even. Rather. There we go. I've just added Emrys Ancient to the... Uh, no, nope, I don't have access to the controls still. Well, Wait, apparently the... you're, on, you're on the list. So Wait. the light switch doesn't do anything. Update. Bit strange. It's saying it's a control, so then it must do something. Retrieve? John, just click around the uh, the control, pa the actual panel, the actual grey panel. I have! I click everywhere across it, up and down it, through it. Your, your console isn't telling me off for clicking on things, I think it's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's no, weird. no, it is, it's telling me now, it's saying it's terminated good resident temperature. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what did you do, Ray? I don't even know. <laughs> that was me. Oh, there's hats. Oh, it's the hats. That is really annoying. <laughs> like in your ears. It seems very. Hey, look, some of these controls do have scripts in them, so they obviously haven't done. Perhaps a lighting update. Maybe I could have sworn that lighting and roleplay mode are meant to have scripts in, but I'm looking at the ones here and they don't. Does, does the roleplay mode function? Where's the roleplay? Uh... Yes, roleplay mode does function. Oh. What have you done? <laughs> I don't know. I've done something. I haven't done anything. It was me. I'm being naughty. I'm just messing about with the. You've broken the top. <laughs> I actually haven't got a clue what it's done. <laughs> I'm guessing Oops. that is the vortex loop. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, that good job. Good. Have fun trying to get out of that one. 
No, you just press it again, or do you press light in no, transit? No, don't press it again, it makes it worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. Where's the... Where's the flipping flight transit lever? There we go. We're, bro we're stuck in a broken TARDIS. Uh, that was quite fun, actually, that was. That was, that was very f quite fun. Uh, anyway. Oh, it's time for suspension. Oh, that was an interesting effect. Oh, now we're in temporal suspect for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know where the door is. Oh, we're all going to die. No. I'm uh, being sucked down into space. That's the temporal suspension. There it is. Oh, I don't know what that does. <laughs> <sighs> but there we go, anyway, guys. Oh, now I've destroyed everyone. That was the cloister bell sound. Oh shit. What did I touch? What? I don't know, I just clicked randomly on the control, I don't know what- oh fuck. Oh no! Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> the object self-destruct at Homo Sierra cannot teleport the state manager home. Oh yeah. So, Jack, you're the only person that got destroyed then. Uh, one of us that isn't an estate manager. Oh, God. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Very small. <laughs> oh, my God, that was, in that was insane. <sighs> anyway, uh, you all... don't understand. <laughs> that, that, ladies and gentlemen, was the self-destruct button. Yes, it was, which we haven't shown in quite a while in their videos, actually, I don't think. So, I don't like, like you guys ever self-destruct it's, it's, it's but... because we were too frightened of other people under the parcels, like getting flying objects, just going, swing! Mm. Oh, but then no, again, run, all run it does is affect the control room and then send anyone who's not an estate manager home. I was going to say, uh, NLS is the only one that... Only one, I think? Yeah, um... I don't, I don't think H1 have a uh, self No, no they? one else has that. No. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Well, so that's a brief little demonstration of all the crazy features you get from the <coughs> system. If you want one, of course, buy your own. And uh, what happens they... when Jack pushes random buttons? Yeah, yeah. Or you could just do that and have uh, wild fun. Um, so with all this in mind, uh, shall we give our verdicts? We shall, shall, shall. We must, must, we must. Could we turn Christopher off first? Oh, that would probably yes. be a good <laughs> that idea. That would be a good idea, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So... Oh, and on, while you're doing that, let me just find the power controls. Just turn the power off so that we get to get this nice little dark setting. Ooh, okay, fair enough. Darkness. What? Why? I don't know, I like darkness. Now carry on! Where just so people can see what it's like in the dark, and I just hit the oh, mic. Oh, We're in a dead TARDIS. Although there are some still lights on, but then again, you can class those emergency lights. Carry on. Well, yes. So, John, out of ten, what would you give the exterior? The exterior, I would say, like the blue on the on the on the glass. Mhm. Mm um. No, no, I like it. I liked it. I remember. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. Okay. Uh, for the interior, what would you give? The interior. I do like this console quite a lot. I'm going to give it a solid nine. Nine? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Cody, what would you give the exterior? Uh, I think I have to agree with John's vote there. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 of the same quality that you've come to expect from Unless with their with their mesh exteriors, really. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a police box. It <laughs> looks like what it is supposed to represent. And I also um, noticed that they fixed, nice. the, they fixed the Z fighting on the corner prims as well, where the round, rounded parts are. They fixed the, the Z fighting on it. I didn't see any Z fighting when I came through the on top of the thing. Anyway, so, uh, and that's now your to you, Jack, now I think. Uh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, no, oh, wait, sorry, I haven't got this here. <laughs> My God, I skipped off. Uh, He's trying to get rid of me. <laughs> not uh, important anymore. Uh, um, so, Cody, yeah, what would you give the interior? Uh, I would give it a nine. I, nine. I don't know if I gave a number for the other one. Uh, I don't think you did. No, actually. Do it again. <laughs> that can have an eight. That can have a nine. Everyone could be happy. Right, both, both a nine. 
Uh, right, uh, for me, I'll give... Actually, you know what, with everything in mind, I think I'll give both exterior and interior uh, a solid 9. Despite the few little bits here and there, you know, like gaps missing and, and you know, just the odd little little things. But actually, with the interior, there actually isn't much um, at all. Um, actually, no, on that now, I think, yeah. So, I'll give a 9 for the exterior, and I'm, I'm going to give a 10. I'm actually going to give a 10 for the interior, which Ooh. is the first time I ever do those kind of things. It's, it's very rare. I use that, that, that digit, double digit, digit number. So, uh, but for this one in particular, I am going to use a den. Well, so there we go. Indeed. I've just, uh, so while you've been talking, I've just been noticing um, the texture on the panel. Hold on a sec. I've got to find, I'm on the wrong thing, that's why. Uh, yes, okay. The light texture for the, the side things, the blue streak light, yes. these things. Uh, the texture is like a, a squared, um, like, well, you guys can see what I'm talking about on on my screen. It's like a, it's like, um, it's like a square light in the middle of, in the middle of the texture, transparent background. But because it's been placed on a stretched texture, a, a stretched uh, face, it gives you this like streaked light, like it's got LEDs inside it. The only downfall, of course, being stretched is that you can see the stretch at the top there. But I do like how they've got this like LED strip kind of look to it. Mm -hmm. hmm. On these things, so yeah. I do. I think something. that I don't. They've done quite well on this console. I do like it. I've just noticed something. What's, What's that? that? You know that you know the parts of the console that have got animated textures on. It's, you can still see them with the glow light. The, yeah, the the animation's yeah. still playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit yeah. of a. Also, there's a slight gap on the side of the consoles here. On the, Could on have the turned it black. So, on that note, folks, that is the end of the video. We do hope you enjoyed, and we will see you again in the next video. So, until then, yeah, see you soon. Bye, -bye. Right, guys. Enjoy your week. I think actually, well, depends on the video comes out. So, yeah, enjoy your week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, folks, for watching. If you enjoyed, do please leave a like or comment below on this video. If you want more, on Jack's side is the last video and the recommended video that we've suggested to you. To stay tuned for more, on John's right is the link to our channel so you can subscribe. And also we have a link to our website if you want more information about who we are and what we do. Until next time, take care, stay safe. And remember, let, let your kids out. Bye bye guys.